What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Josh and Brandy Helm here, and we're excited because today we're gonna to be showing you guys the finished tour video of the Legacy Farms Barn Dominium. And uh, you know, this one's a little bit closer to home for us in the Waxahachie area, but we already had a Waxahachie Barn Dominium, so this is the Legacy Farms Barn Dominium. And this one is not going to disappoint. There's a lot of details here. Let's tell them a little bit about the sure. layout here. So it is a 2,720 square feet of living. They've got 1,100 square foot of, in the shop and then 1,300 square foot of porches. So we got a lot. Lot to show, and that's front porch, back porch. On the exterior, we are displaying this polar white wall panels with a black trim and roof which is always nice and gives you that real contrasting difference and showing just some of those uh, how it's nice sometimes to have a little bit of that parallel there so i hope you guys enjoy this video let's get it going okay so this is the entrance we have an entrance like a foyer almost leading in from the front of the house so we've got a little more compartmented areas here on this build, which is kind of nice for a change. Yeah, it's kind of broken up. Instead of directly walking straight into the kitchen, you kind of got... So the layout is we have four bedrooms uh, and three... And an office. Mm -hmm. Three baths. Three and a half baths. Three and a half baths. And there's an office uh, as well. Um, and, you know, it leads in, so it kind of breaks it up a little bit more because we have this uh, entrance that is sort of shut off a little bit so you don't feel so exposed from the front of the house and it's all about the back of this place because you've got a lot of, a lot of windows on the back yeah a lot of lookout and so we've got the living room area here which is a really nice size living room and of course a beautiful fan in here as well and these are custom beams these are faux beams right they were a special order these are faux beams and uh, they come uh, where it's allowable to stain, you know, to stain them and finish them the color to match with all of the cabinet space and trim that we're using here. So a lot of mixed stain. We have the stain and we have the painted white trim that's being combined together. So it's a little bit different. So we have this all stone fireplace, which is a wood burner and cedar mantle here which is pretty nice actually this is a uh, similar finish to our uh, cabinet top wood so it's more of a hardwood moving on out of this living area we have our access with the double doors that leads off to a really nice porch a really nice size porch for mm -hmm. sure and all of the posts as well on the exterior wrapped with the cedar that are matching in the stain color so, you know, you still got that front to back view uh, if you're right here, because you can see there's a little depth that goes out into the backyard, but uh, you can also have your little privacy. We actually have an official like dining room space mm -hmm. for your table on this beautiful chandelier. I love all the, the glass globes on this and, and it's really nice in here. And ornate. Yes, that, that's your favorite word to use. Yeah, it's got some wood on it and the black metal, so it looks really good with everything. Yes, and uh, love all of those kind of antiquish bulbs and stuff like that as well. But a lot of space for dining. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have quite the spread right here. You know, huge table. Yeah. Sometimes it's not always the case. But <laughs> yeah, sometimes you're kind of trying to tuck, tuck a little table in. So moving into some of the details on this kitchen, I really like. Uh, a lot of what we're showing here. This is uh, kind of different in some ways because we've got some of the more warmer tones, and uh, but it's a shaker style ca cabinets, custom cabinets. And these cabinets are going up uh, nine foot and we have the stain as well. So which is really different uh, as well. So sometimes, you know, it's like paint, you painting your cabinets all the time, you know, but here they were going with that warmer tone. So moving on to some of the details here, this is a really nice setup. Uh, this is a 
Caldera Blue Granite. So it's a, it's an upgraded granite for sure, um, but it's got some real pretty veining in it. It's got a little bit of blues. It's kind of got like a rusty um, type vein that actually complements the cabinets. Um, and so it looks really nice. Yeah, that's one way that you can kind of uh, kind of go for a little more of a rustic look as you can get some of this this uh, it's got the grays in it but having those sort of other tones in there is really kind of going well with the backsplash that we're using here which is a it's kind of a uh, tiled uh, made to look sort of like the the metal like a tin metal tin thing. metals yeah. mm -hmm. but this is tile so so it's pretty cool. And it has some of those same colors in it. Uh, of course, we do have the under cabinet lights here, which is helping some of that shine. And uh, these nice uh, large doors with additional higher storage, which I know a lot of people are usually like, what are you going to put up there? <laughs> it's the stuff that you don't have to get to very often. Right. <laughs> and uh, but it goes. And as you can see, we do have an extended uh, vaulted ceiling in the kitchen area so a lot of people are always taken by the echo as well in a, in a room like this but once you start to furnish it and you know things of that nature it really is not that bad well before we get too far they this has some um, some special features inside these cabinets uh, we actually have a a drawer that pulls out so that you can reach the back so that's kind of neat this one and the one next to it have those and it's they, really nice. Yeah, they have the soft clothes. No slamming cabinets. So what, how could you use something like that? I would probably put like my um, KitchenAid mixer, the big things that are kind of so kind of bulky. Yeah. Reach as far back into it. Just kind of slide it in, slide it out. So that's That'd a pretty cool, cool option. I, I mean, really, if you did that, I mean, really every drawer could be a trash drawer. <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> you know, so. Put your trash can and everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that'd be me. I'd just feel like, okay, we got too much trash. <laughs> we need another trash can. So uh, <laughs> really nice. And another thing that our clients opted for here is to go to a soft close um, with, you know, with all these. So which is kind of nice to to do as well. It's a little bit more money, but it's it's a neat feature. It's definitely an upgrade, but it's it's a, a nice one to have. We have a really nice large island here. How so big is that? Take a look at that. You know, it's it's at least five or six foot long, and we have the extended depth here uh, because we have cabinets on this side and cabinet space on this side. Uh, now. It always limits you a little bit when you're trying to do that. You can't really do any kind of side pockets mm -hmm. as easy, but uh, this is a nice way to do it. You have a little bit of overhang here for your... Uh, yeah, you can still put some stools. There, yeah. You know, you can put on that side, but not a whole lot of overhang there. But, you know, this fits really nice in here and these beautiful pendant lights yeah they're really rustic looking so they've got some whites and like kind of a cream and then uh, obviously it's the, like we pulled these rustic. right out of the antique shop <laughs> yeah but they're not they're new <laughs> brand new but they're made to look old <laughs> and uh you know it's always fun hanging pendant lights on a slope ceiling but uh, the guys did a great job leveling all this oh, yeah, up. because you don't really think about it. You think, oh, well, you know, it's this high or whatever, but it's not because it's going to be taller on the other side. So you got to be able to make a match. So. Well, what do we have here? This is this is quite a nice uh, yeah. view. you got the window. you got the gooseneck light that's over the sink. Uh, you know, a lot <laughs> of fine details here with the farm sink. So... And all the stainless steels what, what do you think some of the desires are people have for farm sinks? Is it just the look or? Well, I, I think the large, the large basin, you can kind of, um, you know, some people like this, the separating of the two sides. So you can kind of have, you know, you can wash dishes in a smaller area versus the whole thing. But um, it's just all about preference and what you want. The farm sinks always, it's like no matter which ones you get, a lot of times they, they all come with their special accessories yeah you know. so like they have a 
They have like the little grated metal thing that goes in there that keeps dishes from like actually laying on the sink. I guess that's a that's yeah to help prevent scratching and things of that nature because mm -hmm. this is basically like a porcelain. Isn't this a porcelain? Mm -hmm. So, you know, here we have a, a really nice uh, black faucet that so it's it's really it doesn't stand out as that it has a a separate but it separate. Has a, detachable where you can kind of get to all all sides of the, the sink with that so it looks real nice and beautiful <laughs> uh size window here uh that will open up so they can you know catch a breeze in the kitchen or if you burn something in here you know you can <laughs> open the window really fast <laughs> uh, you he's know. not speaking from experience i promise <laughs> <laughs> no, no slam. I know I've been really hard on Brandy in the past about cooking, but uh, she's doing the best she can do. I do what I need to. <laughs> My family gets fed. Four kids, you know, yeah. and they're they're growing every day, so doing a good job. Yeah, so we have a trash drawer here. It's actually kind of oversized. I think you could get a couple of trash cans in there. Um, yes. So I really like having that because then you can kind of tuck it away it's not in your pantry with your food it's um, just something to think about because that's i mean that's just a common thing everybody has to have a trash can and where are you going to put it if you can work it into your design it's definitely something i would recommend For sure. and uh, of course you can see we have the stacking drawers here to the left of the trash drawer and then plenty of upper cabinet space as well on this wall uh, i don't want to go too far without saying we are glad to present the first housewarming gift for this home, yes. which is made by none other than Miss Brandy here. And always a beautiful display. Anything you want to say about these flowers? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're a little more difficult to find because of the time frame, because it's Valentine's Day. Yeah. And so everything is... I'm sure the video will be delayed from Valentine's, but it is Valentine's this week. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> running short on flowers. But. <laughs> well, on on the actual, like, you know, selection, you, basically all you get is roses. So, All right, so over here we have our kind of our staple corner pantry. Yes. Got lots of storage space in here, and it's actually got some plugs, so you can actually, you know, Put a couple of small appliances or something in there if you needed to. Yes, and another thing here on this one is they've kind of took advantage of the space by making those lower couple of shelves deeper, meaning that they can sort of use that kind of like a countertop space for putting toasters, things like that in there if they wanted to, um, and having some of those appliances set up if you didn't want to keep it out on your counter space. So. Now, when we first kind of looked at the layout, I was a little bit, you know, I thought, well, this might be a little bit different, you know, having your oven so close to this wall right here or your cooktop. Mm -hmm. But it sort of worked out, you know, it's just a different design here on this. And they are actually looking to uh, add some additional, I think, uh, tin. Like some uh, rustic old. Yeah, thing. some rustic stuff that just didn't get done. But this is the upper vena hood here, which all of this comes from underneath, which is a really nice vena hood that goes over this uh, propane cooktop. And I really like that they have drawers underneath here because I feel like you can kind of maximize your space. Like you can get all the way to the back where you're not having to kind of try to dig through some of the deeper cabinets. You can um, you can kind of pull that out. And, and we also have some additional. Yeah, so these are spice. These are like spice rack drawers or whatever, but I was kind of looking at them. They're really, um, they're narrow, of course, but um, I feel like you can maybe even get some cookie sheets or something like that in there as well. That might be kind of a neat. Yeah, so your spice racks definitely are something that, you know, you can't always squeeze in, but just depending on the spacing of your layout for the the cabinets. Well, it's good to not waste that space. So sometimes you have just an extra three or four inches there. You're trying to get right. uh, squeezed in, but here it worked out nice because this space actually creates a little bit more countertop space. Like if when you're doing your cooking, if you got your little saucepans or stuff like mm -hmm. that, to where you're not utensils. Yeah, things, you don't. Yeah. You're not completely closed closed in there. Uh, of course, we have our fully wrapped refrigerator cabinet here which 
We have the upper cabinet, uh, which is always nice to have. A lot the, of deep storage, yeah. Yeah, and um, I guess you could put a TV up there if you needed to. <laughs> uh, no. Um, and then completing the kitchen portion, uh, we should say something about the face of this island. Yes, because uh, there's storage on both sides. So you've got the storage on the... And a lot of drawer space here in the center, which is really nice with the black hardware. And then plenty of deep storage on the lower portion of each side with a couple of side drawers. I well. feel like this island was made for entertaining. Mm -hmm. Like you can go all the way around and you can have two different lines going through and lots of space to to serve your guests so absolutely sounds like a good lead line made for entertaining yeah. you know that's why that's what we're here for we're entertain have a party they're about to have a move-in party <laughs> probably probably that's that's a good place to put your whataburger sack when you come in the door <laughs> you just drop it right there okay so completing the kitchen portion uh we have the double oven which is a nice feature with some really nice lower drawer storage here, uh, which is divided storage, which is pretty cool. Pots and pans and cookie sheets, yeah. And some additional deep storage up here with the uh, shelving space. And I guess this little side. Yeah, area. I mean, this would be a great little coffee bar that you could kind of set up and it's its own little station. With additional backsplash mm -hmm. and more upper cabinets. Uh, however you needed to uh, lay that out. So it's really nice. And, and this is very spacious. Like it's not, it's not, I don't feel like it's really cramped. Like there's a lot of space here when you're cooking, you're not going to be running into each other. So it's got great space. It's spacing. got good space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really nice kitchen. So moving from here, we want to show you guys, we have a laundry area here, which is, it's not in the shop, but it's on your way to the shop but you have kind of a just a, a real compartmented area here which is nice um, and plenty of space here we've got the countertop space so you could use for folding laundry mm -hmm. if you wanted to stay in there and do it nobody ever does fold laundry in their <laughs> laundry room i don't think but uh, that's kind of, usually is a catch-all for me but there's a nice place for a wine fridge in here um and then a really neat it's kind of a rustic looking um they did a chandelier in this uh, laundry room instead of a traditional light so that's really pretty it adds some character to that room some barn tin yeah you know <laughs> has a has a pretty cool effect and plenty of upper cabinet storage. Uh, we've also got, a, like you said, a place for this uh, wine cooler. And they changed up the countertop in here. It's a biscotti white granite, but it's really pretty. It's got some kind of gold, of course, that matched kind of the, the counter, the cabinet um, staining, but it's really pretty. It I really like changing up the countertop in the laundry. You know, we kind of did that on the Wills Point Barnum and look, looked mm -hmm. pretty cool. Uh, now, the uh, additionally, we have a, a lot more cabinets, I mean, uh, shelving storage as well in this room, which is a nice feature to have. Okay, so now we're going to move down, I guess you'd call this Oops. one of one, one of the, the wings. wings of this house. <laughs> we have a little... I think this is the children's area. That's yeah. going to be the... Okay. Yeah, the well, kids' wing. <laughs> so, because we do have two bedrooms down this hallway mm -hmm. with... A Jack and Jill bath connecting the two. Right. Okay. So coming in here, <clears throat> this is a small bathroom here, which is, you know, just the right size for just just Three a half days. bath. Yeah. So your guests have easy access right here off of the kitchen area. And um, you're seeing a lot of the similar countertops that we had there in the island. One thing I like about a guest... Mean, Oh, in the laundry room? Laundry room. Yeah. Sorry. One thing I like about the guest bathroom being, you know, the little half bath being off of the main thing is that, you know, your, you know, your guests are not going in to your kids' bathrooms. Right. <laughs> Who wants to send them in there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I like it having its own little space, so. Yeah, and that's a bathroom you know is always going to be clean. Yes. So, so also we have a, a little... A little, coat, a little linen closet here that you can put your games or your bath towels or sheets all those kind of mm -hmm. things you got to store away always need a woman to tell us what we can use a closet for you know 
So we got two bedrooms on the on, one on each side. Yeah, let's check this out. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is our first guest bedroom here. And these are both of these rooms are going to be twelve by twelves, and they're pretty much mirrored, I think, on each side. Yeah. So I like the ceiling fans. Yeah. Looks similar to. I recognize that ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> we have the same ceiling. Yeah, fan. I like the little mason jar gloves. That's kind of a neat yeah. little. Decoration. That's really nice. Um, we haven't really said anything, but we do have the stain concrete throughout uh, it's a really nice stained floor it's kind of got a little bit of a gray uh, color that gets put into it but uh, keeps it pretty simple for the most part with our farm style uh, five and a half inch board one by six is what it is that we're using on the baseboards and then we've got this closet with your typical uh, cubby space in the center with the double racks on the side. And the stain uh, rods that match all the cabinets. Yes. This is a pretty typical setup there for the closets. And then here we have this Jack and Jill bath that we go into, uh, which has got your dual sink vanity and your pass through going into the next bedroom. But a uh, large mirror, um, you know, I'm imagining they're probably going to have a lot of kids. Yeah. <laughs> well, they'll be able to share this space for sure. And they've got the same countertops in here um, that they had in the, the laundry room. And I think these are really pretty. It's really cla really classy. Mm -hmm. um, and to it. we've got the three three light bar lights up here with the large mirror and all of the one by four trim that matches surrounding the mirrors, which is nice when you can incorporate that. Uh, and then all of the black hardware. Like I kind of like the vanity lights. There's actually two up there, two sets of three, but it kind of looks like one big, you know, one big light because there's two of them up there. So. Very nice. And this is, it, uh, it, it seems pretty tall, you know, so it's pretty cool. A lot of just a real nice feature here for this this sink and then moving into the bathroom area we have a lot of tiled walls around uh, got a little bit of a cubby shelf there or the we got the soap boxes and then we have a little uh, upper shelf space there uh, which is kind of nice if you're you know trying to hand shampoo to your kid or whatever you're trying to well, clean. Well, I think it would be a great place to put bath toys or things like that because I'm pretty sure this is the kid's bathroom. Yes, and of course we got the black hardware and then the toilet space in here. And here we have a, a pocket door. Which so. is totally necessary for here because there's just no way for you to actually have a, an opening functioning door there. You guys know how much I love pocket doors? Those pocket doors. But it's necessary in this space for right. sure. You need to be able to tuck that away. Mm -hmm. There's no room for it to open up into. So. so moving in from here, we have another bedroom, which is, is the Jack and Jill uh, bedrooms. So we have a, another closet, and this is similar size room to the other side. 12 by 12 bedrooms, both of them mm -hmm. have the same layout in the closets. And of course, the window facing out on the front side of the house with the similar fan. And, uh, you know, this also joins back into that little hallway. So private access to each bedroom. So this is it's a pretty cool feature to, to be able to make the most out of one bathroom. So yeah, I think it's great. Right off of sort of our main living area, we have this nice office area. And there was a couple different ideas originally when we uh, we're doing the framing on this because at one point in time there was a discussion that kind of they wanted their I think their maybe their door on this side but the depending on how they were going to space or what kind of wall space or what kind of visibility they wanted from the dining they ended up making the opening on this side uh, which I think works nice now keep in mind that the way this is you could also close it off you could put the double doors and all of that but I think they decided just to keep it open for now yeah and this is supposed to be an office right now but it does have a closet so I guess it could count as another bedroom if you needed it for that um, but correct uh, 
Yeah, we've got some great closet shelving space in, here. space in here, and I'm just imagining you know you can set up your little desk space here. And but there's no door on this office, so you're gonna have to keep it looking nice and keep it cleaned up. Don't let That's it right. Get too junky in here. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so off of this area, we also have the coat closet from the entry. We're kind of doing this backwards. We want to make sure you guys remember what this hallway looks like. So we're going to go back down the entry way. It's like a whole other wing of the house, pretty much. Right, and we have the, the coat closet here, which is very large uh, space here. Size. And uh, moving from this, we're going to go into this bedroom. All right, so we actually have like a guest suite on this side of the house. This is up by the front, the front door of the house. But this is uh, its own little area. Yeah, and it's private. It's got its own private bathroom, private, um, like you said, it's kind of compartmented off. I think it would be a great mother-in-law's room when they come to visit and help out with the kids. But she can still kind of kind of stay away from everybody. She can kind of come over here in her wing. Exactly. And here we have <laughs> the uh, similar closet. So you guys see. now. One thing I feel like is a little bit different than maybe some of the houses up in the north. I don't know that they they trim out their closets like this, but here this is sort of standard, customary to to do the trim carpentry work and to build the shelves in and paint those shelves. Um, I think a lot of times in in the north area they use uh, metal, like wire, right? Yeah, some of those kind of deals. But this is kind of neat. We have a barn door here. I kind of like these better than pocket doors. They kind of serve the same purpose because they don't open up into the rooms and they kind of stay on this wall. But this wall is pretty much not usable. You're not going to probably really hang anything on a pocket door wall or the walls that have the barn doors. Well, and a barn door just looks nicer. It's a feature. It's kind of an accent. Yeah, the, it actually, in yeah, instead of hiding it away, it, you make it an accent. So that's kind of different. But here in this bathroom, uh, you can see they didn't spare any expense here. It's a really nice setup. So we've got the fully tiled shower and glass, which is not, uh, this is a frameless. So, you know, it's more expensive. And we've got the black hardware as well uh, with the vanity space with more of that same countertops that we're using in the other bedrooms. Uh, looks really, really sleek and classy. Uh, I, I like I like the warmer tones here with the cabinets and the stuff that we're doing here and the grays. So it's really uh, nice. Okay, so if you thought the guest bedroom was nice, wait till you check out the master suite. So. Yes, it's a, it's a great size room. It's kind of on its own wing. You kind of have your own separate space. This is a... I really like the feel of this uh, layout. You know, it kind of reminds me, you know, which one I'm thinking about. I think it's the Hill County. Yeah, it has the similar feel because we've got the master bathroom on this side. We've got our closet space on this side. And then uh, our bedroom, which is dividing that up. So it's... Uh, we might even had some mason jars on the Hill County. Maybe so. I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> it's a 14 by 16 bedroom, so it's a great size. And we have the, the stained concrete as well, and that is throughout. So uh, a lot of times, sometimes in the bathrooms we'll go a tile, or something. but here it just it really flows well all of the color schemes as well and uh, what colors do we have here on the wall i know it's just a gray uh, so we've got gray walls mm -hmm. white trim and uh, this this ceiling fan here yeah the ceiling fan is the same throughout they have uh, mason jars all through here and here we have another barn door yeah going into the uh, master bathroom we have this barn door which is duplicate to similar the other rooms and this is our master bathroom it's so. so nice it's uh it's got a lot going on it's got the double vanities i'm pretty sure this is hers and that's his probably <laughs> the the bigger one on this side um so always you know in these areas you're seeing more of what you're seeing in in the other areas but 
Um, it is really open in here, a uh, large tub that divides these two vanities with the beautiful countertop space that we are using in the kitchen area, uh, similar countertops there. And then the all of the trimmed mirrors, large mirrors in this room. And uh, we've got the private toilet area, uh, stained concrete, the, the, the matching gray walls. Um, and it's just, it's really, like I said, I don't know. I just feel like it's a, it's a classy feel, you know, yeah, it's really uh, what we've got going on here. And then we've got this beautiful shower as well on this side, which has some of that old world tile feel, uh, which is using these uh, like three by eight tiles. Kind of got some browns and blues in it. It really plays well with the, the countertops and the, mm -hmm. the cabinet. Color. We, we did some, we used some uh, colors like this back when we were doing remodeling years ago and, and we had some, some like this, but it was a little bit smaller tile, but I like this on a larger display like it is. Mm -hmm. Really looks nice. I like the shower head. It's kind of it's got the the large shower head that's the main one, but then it also has a, the handheld too. That's right. We have dual heads as well. So we have one on each side and uh, the tile going all the way up to the ceiling, uh, which these are nine foot ceilings, giving you plenty of air space and uh, you know, with the frameless glass, which is always a nice touch. Well, these windows are amazing. They're letting in a lot of light in here. There's, we've got two window, windows over the tub. Four by four windows, uh, bring in all that natural light, but you're not, you know, concerned about privacy or privacy. obscured. Yeah. I like the, having those type of windows in the bathroom. Uh, we, we have that at our house and you know, when the, you got the sunrise in the morning, you kind of get that color of the sky you know on those windows it's it's really nice and uh but also uh it's it's just it makes good for a bathroom to be well lit you know having the light in the morning times when you're trying to get dressed and do everything you're trying to do but what do we got here this is a huge bathtub yeah it's a, a huge corner tub i love that it's got it's got the black all the hardware in here is black but it's got you know the tub filler but then it also has the the handheld too so i love that part of a of these bathtubs uh that's normally not something that they used to put in bathtubs but they are adding that now with the little spray handle the nozzle i like it for like bathing kids or whatever washing your hair and then also cleaning out the bathtub when you're done so you can kind of rinse everything out rinse so. it out mm -hmm. absolutely and this is more almost like a hot tub looking deal but it's not no, there's no jets but it's, it's right. like a garden tub right now there. this is a drop-in tub so a lot of people don't understand the components of how some of this has to be done mm -hmm. but we you actually frame up you know, a wall and a deck that this is gonna sit on. And then you have to create the space, you know, for it to drop into. So you actually, here we have the face of these cabinets, which is accessible to where you can make adjustments to your plumbing. Because of the way it has to be set, you have to be able to access it. Um, now there's different ways you can go about doing that, but here uh, having the cabinets and ties all that together. I mean, it just really pops. Yeah, it looks really, really, nice. really, really good. Mm -hmm. So really proud of how that turned out. And last but not least, you got to have a closet. The major master closet. I think they got them a closet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the size of a small bedroom, pretty much. You could. Yeah, this is one of those closets where you could put you an island in here, uh, add a bench, add some bench seating or a something like chair that. Chair in front of the window, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe set up a little library for reading. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is it's nice. It's really nice. I mean, of course, once you start adding clothes and all your stuff in yeah, here, yeah, really definitely fills it up. But uh, this is this is great, and you got the natural light as well, which is. Um, nice and yeah, uh, I like this like this corner thing. It's yeah, kind of neat. It's almost like a little corner pantry. You got mm -hmm. your corner shelving for your shoes. Or I, don't, whatever. I don't think we've necessarily seen this particular setup, but we've got yeah, two yeah. two corners. You got your dress hanging here, uh, which is really nice, and uh, just a lot of a lot of storage. It's like a ten by fourteen. Like hmm. I said, it's a, it's the size of a a small bedroom, so it's a great a great place. Yeah.
Really, really nice. Okay, and what would be Barnuminium video without a shop? You know, no, this is a, like a three car garage. It's a 1100 square foot of, of shop Three space. cars? Yeah. I think you can fit more than three, maybe. Oh, for sure. <laughs> depends on how big your car is. Yeah, are. <laughs> depends on how you do your parking situation. Yeah. But it's a very good size shop. What do we got square footage here? 1,100 square foot. 1,100. So your typical, say, Somebody's garage house might be 400 square feet. That just kind of gives you an idea. So we're talking almost three times as big yeah. as a typical garage. Some living space is about this size. So, so here you're seeing the main frame of the structure and of course it's vaulted because this is the way that this structure is framed and uh you know it, if if we were to try to l put a lower ceiling in here and make additional storage it would be costing them more money so here we have the closed cell foam we have the insulated doors uh, of course the uh, wireless openers here they have these really cool shop lights, which are the big, you know, the L LED. They're really bright, yeah. And, and putting off so much brightness. And uh, of course the ceiling fans in here, which is a nice option, uh, you know. And then we have our water closet as well in this room, which is something that, we don't really show water closets much, but this is just a typical water closet. Uh, here's that tin right here that they're gonna use. Um, over, and, the vent hood. over the vent hood, mm -hmm. but this is the water closet, and you can kind of see uh, the way this is set up. Now, the way that our shop is is this sits an inch and a half lower mm -hmm. than the living quarters. So having a water closet here in this shop is nice because if you ever had a, a water event mm -hmm. with your water heater, it would just flow out. Of this room right it really wouldn't impact your your living right so this is a sheetrocked wall we it's an unfinished wall as far as paint and all that it's just drywall and uh textured so it's not painted you might see some some uh it's things painted. there but we do have this dog wash area uh our cl clients have some fairly large dogs. Or small horses. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they have uh, this set up here, which is nice. Like you said, you can clean the shower out with it, wash the dogs. And, um, and also they have this for like using it for almost like a mop. Like mop buckets, like a mop buckets. or something. Mm -hmm. So you can hook up a water hose to that because we've got the hot and cold water on both sides of this little dog shower. Yeah, it looks it's really a nice. nice feature to have. It's a great place to wash your dogs is in the garage, not your house. Right. <laughs> sometimes. right. sometimes they're so big. All right, guys. Well, this is the back porch and uh, there's a lot of space back yeah, here. Almost 800 square feet. Yeah, just in you the back. You could do all kinds of stuff, yeah. Yeah. You could put an outdoor kitchen out here if you wanted. There's all kinds of things you could do. There's always options, you know, when if you wanted to close in uh, part of the porch or something of that nature, you definitely have the space here. Uh, and keep in mind, like, all this, because it got poured during the, uh, the house the portion of the foundation, the all of this is engineered so we have the same thickness of concrete here as we do on the house uh, so if you needed to add on to your house you could essentially do it back here if you needed to yeah it's really windy today and cold but we are so excited to show you guys this build if uh if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do that now also ring the bell uh, we've got a lot more builds coming this is the Legacy Farms Barnuminium. We would really appreciate it if you'd share it with, you know, some of your friends and say, hey, check this out. Uh, really helps the channel out a lot as well. Also hit the likes and uh, put some comments below. Let us know your thoughts. And uh, we appreciate you guys always following along on this channel. And we got so many more to come. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm Josh Helm. And I'm Brandy Helm. We're wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best.